It is a open source project supporting an open source registry for MCP servers everywhere, open source or that. So that is, right. that is really cool. Toby, what is the hottest acronym in tech this year? That would be MCP and you're well decked out. <laughs> oh yeah. Welcome Toby. Welcome to GitHub Checkout. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me again. What is the MCP registry and why is this such a big deal for our community? We're starting small, but this is a curated list of some of the best MCP servers in the world. And we want to make it really easy for developers to discover tools for their AI SDLC. But we're also working with Anthropic and the MCP steering committee and the broader MCP community on an open source registry. And so that we did public preview a couple of weeks ago and we're vetting it. But ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to sit the GitHub registry on top of the open source registry and allow for self-publication. So instead of 36 high quality partner servers, we're going to allow the community to self-publish. And then we're going to sort by stars and all the other social signals that we have on GitHub to verify quality. But this is going to make it a lot easier to find a bunch of amazing tools. So you'll have like hundreds, if not thousands of MCP servers to go through and you can sort them by tag, look at them by stars, look at the repo owners to verify ownership. From there, it'll also be easier for MCP server authors to publish new versions. We do a release almost every week. And right now it's really hard for us to go notify a bunch of different MCP registries that we've done that. And so there's a lot of out-of-date information there. But um, when we wire up the OSS registry and the GitHub MCP registry, we, just like any other server author, will publish our new updates into the OSS registry and all the downstream registries of which GitHub is one will then pick it up automatically. And is the GitHub MCP server still the number one most used MCP server we're out the, there? We're in the top three. We kind of go back and forth. Playwright as well is, is a very popular MCP server. So we see that um, depending on where you're looking, we're definitely in the, in the top three. We've got 38 high quality servers that we've got in here now. And as, as I mentioned, we're sorting them by stars, right? And so you can see market down is like a super popular 74,000 stars. That's an incredible amount of wow. stars. We've got context seven. We've got the GitHub MCP server playwright, which I had mentioned earlier. We actually just soft launched this open source registry two weeks ago, and we're now vetting it. Once this is live, you'll use this command line tool that we've got in this project called Publisher. And what you'll do here is you'll init and it'll make like a server JSON, which is the thing that defines how to run your MCP server, and then you'll publish it. And if you have a repo in GitHub, you'll be able to publish basically under that organization and it'll show up in, in the open source registry, the GitHub MCP registry, and any other registry that is downstream from this open source registry. Amazing. So effectively, this will be the source of truth for all MCP servers available out there. People may develop MCP servers um, privately for their enterprise, and that wouldn't be in here. But for everything that's publicly available, we want it in the registry for sure. Part of this project is that we're defining an open API. So if you look at this, we actually have a live version. This is, we've got a publish, we've got a servers list. Um, and so this is an open API that's being defined in the open source registry. We're adhering mm -hmm. to it with the GitHub registry, but we also have a product called API Center um, on Microsoft side that adheres to this. And we're starting to see enterprises roll their own registries internally that adhere to this. So what we launched um, last week was a setting in GitHub for enterprise and org admins to put any registry that adheres to the standard in and use it as an allow list to start supporting governance inside of enterprises. So if you think about a big corporation that has sensitive data, maybe it's like your bank or something, right? They don't necessarily want all of their developers installing just random MCP servers that may exfiltrate your data. With this governance model, you'll basically as an admin say, okay, here are six MCP servers that we, we really trust, right? Like the GitHub MCP server, Figma, the HashiCorp MCP server. We have relationships with these companies. We've done our security scans and our due diligence. We're comfortable with them. We've also built, say, 10 MCP servers in-house. They're not even public, but they're stuff for, that the teams use internally. So you would add all of those MCP servers into your internal registry. And if it uses this API format, then you would take the endpoint from that registry, put it in your GitHub settings, um, and that would be the allow list. And, and we're starting with VS Code, but ultimately any surface area inside of GitHub um, that supports MCP would respect this allow list. When can we anticipate that you'll be able to start submitting your MCP servers for the registry. If you have a really good server now 
and you think mm -hmm. it belongs in the registry, um, you can email partnerships at github.com. And if you're somebody that has a fairly big brand, I think that we're going to work to just onboard you um, by hand. With this registry, um, I would give it a month or two of, of working out the kinks. We're still sort of like settling on the final format for, for what we need in here. Massive shout out to the, to the uh, steering committee and the folks at Anthropic and all Absolutely. the other partners who have done such a great job. Now for developers who have been using it, can we talk to what this means for them, like in their IED? You can install in VS Code or VS Code Insiders. And here I'm going to install Play, right? And you'll see that I just went from the web, right? I clicked this button and it opened up Insiders and it's got this ready to go to install. So if I install it, you can actually look at the configuration for this if you want to, and you'll see that it's, okay, this is a local MCP server. That's what it means, standard IO. It's running MPX. And here are the command line flags that it's using to grab sort of the latest NPM package. And then it runs it. And so now when I use my agent, we've got Playwright in here. Being backed by the power of the registry now, you can have the confidence that when you hit that one click, you're actually selecting the server that you intend to install. Correct. And not just some bad actor out there. For instance, Terraform is actually coming from HashiCorp. And if you go into a server detail, you can see that you can go into the actual org ownership. And you can also go into the repo itself and make sure that it is what you think it is. My favorite MCP server is the GitHub MCP server, especially since we're going remote. It just makes it so much easier to access all these tools. We're up to 90, how many tools now? Oh, nine, there we go, 98 tools. And so as far as the GitHub MCP server, what other tools can we anticipate? What can you share for us? Right now, it's very much exposing the API behind GitHub, right? And that's mm -hmm. why we've got 98 tools because GitHub has a very, very large API surface. Um, but we're trying to think more through agentic workflows and what AI needs and sort of to bundle these things in use cases and to get value out of GitHub repositories. What is next for the registry and all the work that the steering committee is doing? Getting self-publication up and running is going to be huge. That's that's going to allow the community to sort of drive itself. As new updates come in, they should show up in real time. So I think that that's the biggest thing that we've seen there. And then doing this governance model around this API shape that we're forming in the registry, I think is also also a big deal, right? Like we've talked to a lot of big companies that are very, very excited about MCP, but they can't use it yet. They're not comfortable mm -hmm. using it, or they're even from a regulatory standpoint, not able to use it until there's governance in there. Besides the GitHub MCP server, what is one server out there that you appreciate yourself? I do like Playwright a lot. So being able to, to drive a browser is a big deal. And actually I don't use Playwright that much in VS Code where I use it a lot is in the Copilot coding agent. And so yes. inside of Copilot coding agent, for those who aren't familiar, this is when you assign a um, an issue to Copilot and then it turns away for 20 minutes and it comes back and it opens up a PR. Um, and it does a really, really good job. Like I'm just the biggest fan of the coding agent. I've got like a dozen projects that I've been vibe coding with this thing. And when you're building a web app or a web tool, it uses Playwright to test and make sure that it's actually doing what it thinks that it's doing. It'll also take screenshots and, and include them in the PR. So without Playwright, I don't think that the coding agent would be able to do web development as well as it does. Toby, that was awesome. I am so excited for all the efforts the community has put into this. Congratulations to you and the steering committee. It's always a pleasure to be on the show and just share what's going on. Thank you, Toby. Thank you. And that was your first look at the official GitHub MCP registry. Are you looking forward to self-publishing your own MCP registry once the open source registry is out? Let us know in the comments. Let us know if you're using MCP. And if you're using the GitHub MCP server, please upgrade to the remote server. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, send this to a friend, and we'll catch you in the next release.